The president today announced his plans to reduce U.S. carbon emissions by half by 2030, reaffirming his position that climate change is the top priority of his administration, something that uh, Press Secretary Jen Psaki reaffirmed yesterday in the briefing. Now, uh, climate czar Kerry has been engaging with China. He recently returned from the country where he's trying to get concessions from them. China said that they will commit to peaking their carbon emissions by 2030 and start drawing down from there. But Chinese insiders I talked to say that that's likely not to happen, that China's just looking to get con some concessions and not actually adhere to any kind of promises they make on that front. And even, uh, even asking why should they, given that John Kerry recently said to the Washington Post that even if the U.S. and China went to zero emissions tomorrow, it wouldn't, it, it wouldn't end or the climate crisis wouldn't be solved. The United States could go to zero tomorrow. I mean, we can, but if you, if you figuratively speaking, could go to zero, we'd still have a problem. The world would still have a problem. If China went to zero tomorrow with the United States, we'd still have a problem. Which begs the question, Sean and Emma, what's the real point of addressing climate change then? Hmm. Interesting to note, too, that this is the top priority, at least one of the major priorities for the Biden administration in lieu of everything else that's going on right now.